Hey, Reed, Dave here. Hope you're having an awesome day. So I have this mini tester spray paint can, and I want to try and make a robot out of it. So come on, let's do it. Clean up this spray can. That'll be the head. Let's drill some holes for the legs. Looking good. Let's make some socks using ma Magic Sculpt. And we'll do a little bit of Magic Sculpting. Let's make some arms. This is the bicep and shoulder. This will be the forearms. Drill out a little spot here so we can make a joint. Using some polystyrene here. Another piece of polystyrene to slide in. Just fill in that polystyrene tube so I have something to glue to a little bit later. Just assemble in the elbow joint here. Kept it pretty simple. Added a little bit of tape to the polystyrene just so it had a little bit more friction. Drilling the hole for the wrist. I'm gonna use a magnet and a steel ball bearing. Let's make a hand. Gonna drill some holes for some fingers. And for the fingers, I'm just gonna use some flower wire. And I have these really cool copper beads that I found that I think will make really cool finger joints. So after we get all these glued in, we'll slide on some of those copper beads and make some fingers. left a little bit of a gap where the joint would bend and then once I got this done I'll just snip the tip off did the same for the thumb just carved out a little spot for that ball joint to fit in a little bit nicer glue that in and a little detail just for fun. Let's make a magnetic shoulder. And we got a little hand that articulates and an elbow that moves up and down. That's pretty cool. Making the bracket that will hold the head on I'm gonna use this flower wire and just, it will actually slide into the spray paint can. Just hot gluing that in. Let's make some eyes. I'm gonna use some of this polystyrene and I think I'm gonna put some LEDs in this a little bit later. He's got some fun personality, I like that. It's a little messy, but that's all gonna be covered with paint. Let's go ahead and add a little bit more detailing, just to add some interest to this head. It's looking good. I found these little Legos and they fit perfectly in my polystyrene tubing, so I think I'm gonna use those and a couple other Lego bits just for the side, maybe like where the jaw moves. Using the tea light here, and this is how I'm gonna do my LEDs. So I just did my own little wiring. I have a video on how I mess with tea lights. I'll leave the link in the description below. It worked. All right, ready to prime. 
Now that's primed, I'll paint this all silver and we'll start adding some decals. These are water transfer decals that I made myself. I got some laser jet material and it worked out pretty great. and a little bit of paint. Went with a really simple color scheme here. black around the eyes and then some chipping detailing I like to do this just to give it a little bit of character painting the socks white painting up his little tennis shoes these tennis shoes were 3d printed left over from our 1m robots project so I thought these worked out perfect slap a little bit of black wash on here pat that off slap some more black wash kind of did this on the entire body and then once I got the black wash on just add a little bit of rust detail I'm using down and dirty rust I'm gonna finish gluing up these lights in here the LEDs into those little polystyrene tubes Made a little switch in the back so you could turn it on and off. The capsule head still open so you could change the battery if you ever needed to, so that was pretty cool. Okay, so I love making toys, and every once in a while, there's a build that is just something special to me that I'm like, ah, I really like this. So this is one of those builds that just has something uh, personal to me. I don't know what it is, to be honest, but... He's definitely going on my toy shelf, and I just love the articulation in the head. I love the LEDs. I love the articulation on the arms, and I've had this paint can laying around in my space for about a year, and I've always wanted to build something with the spray can as a body, but it never really clicked, and I just not, nothing ever came to me, but uh, this guy just kind of came together. In fact... In the beginning, I had these like huge robot arms and it was kind of over the top. And I love the simplicity of this little guy. I think he's, <laughs> he's great. So I really like him. Hey, let's do some turnaround shots of this thing. And as always, it's a great day to be a toy nerd. Have a great one.